All right, so this one thing I wanted to post here. So we're looking at different kind of infectious stress on the lungs and what's happening, but look at what's happening with probiotics, right? Probiotics are having an effect on modulating TNF-alpha, interleukin-6. It's having also effects on modulating over here, your CD4 cells. These are your natural helper cells. So probiotics actually have a major role in modulating this whole immune response. And so, you know, I think one of the best things you can do if you have poor gut health out of the gates here is potentially adding in some probiotics, uh, maybe adding in some fermented foods, as long as you are getting bloated or gassy. Now, some people that have SIBO, these things may make it worse. And so if you're one of those people, that probably won't be the best thing. But if you're trying to be more in preventative mode, we probably want to get some of this dysbiosis under control and work on building up good bacteria after the fact. Kind of my general analogy is you get your car washed before you get it waxed. You go and throw down seeds only after you've done the weeding in your lawn. Anything else yeah. you want to add there, Evan? Yeah, except for like an acute situation. You might have to change the order of operations. You might just have to go hardcore in it. Maybe you get some bloating, some burping, some gas, some kind of reaction. You know, you got to make a pros and a cons list, right? There's always a risk benefit analysis and those short term effects from a probiotic, if it were in the wrong order per se, not going to be a huge deal long term. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just kind of, all right, good. So I think that's really good. So first thing I wanted to add on top of that is we know gut permeability is a major stress on the immune system because you're allowing undigested food particulate potentially or potentially like endotoxins, which are like the outer shell of the bad bacteria, potentially even mycotoxins from fungus or mold, right? These things affect gut permeability. When the gut's more permeable, that allows more foreign antigens. Think of antigens as like foreign proteins, right? So you could put bacteria, viruses, food, all in that kind of antigen category. It exposes more things to the immune system. And the more you expose bigger chunks of things to the immune system, the more responsive the immune system will be. And so ideally, we don't want to poke the bear, right? Think of like gut permeability is poking that sleeping bear and we don't want to overstimulate that and create immune responses unless we really need to. Yeah. And you know, what's crazy too, this, I mean, we've seen so many things with obesity and, you know, worse outcomes and diseases. And, you know, I went out to a restaurant yesterday. I got some delicious chicken wings, some grilled chicken wings. And I look around and everyone, this was on a Sunday, everyone's drinking mimosas and bloody Mary's and whatever else. And the majority of the people are obese and they're getting pretzels and uh, nacho cheese. And then they get donut holes delivered to their table. And then they get a sandwich with like six pieces of bread and the cheese is gooing off the sandwich. And then they go and get chocolate cake afterwards. It's like, my goodness, just imagine how much better we could be if people just had chicken wings like me for lunch. I didn't have donuts. I didn't have queso. I didn't have a freaking pretzel. I didn't have a Bloody Mary. Like, come on. Like people, it's like they don't care about their health until they are forced to care about their health. But by, by the time you get to that point, it's already too late. So I guess my, my little rant here is just, I really want people to start taking their health seriously now. Stop waiting until you're at rock bottom before you decide you want to change things. Use this information that Dr. J and I are providing and implement it now. Like people listen, 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 listen. And then the implementation is just not there. I really hope people implement the stuff you and I talk about. hundred percent.